My name is Mark Gibbs, I'm an artist, I'm fascinated by Nightjar, I'm particularly interested in their camouflage, um, how come they're so good, and their folklore. I've got a piece here, this is an Egyptian Nightjar, and I use birds and other animals to explore history. This game looks at camouflage, and it's a way of introducing an environmental game it's a way perhaps of slowing people down so that you can have a conversation with them. The winner of the game um, is the best camouflage bird and using the window as a light box is a great way of producing the template. It's quite a nice art activity in itself and you can do this with any, any subject um, and it's, it's, a, it's a way of starting um, and then you can get the participants to cut it out or have them already cut out as I've done. So you need some players and I'd like to introduce you to Helen Walsh and Phil Dutton. The game is to camouflage your night jar. So you have your blank night jar here and we start off with some leaves. They migrate uh, and this is their habitat in Africa. These leaves and the edges of forests. So first of all um, I'm going to ask you for round one is to camouflage your bird against this background. And what we'll do, we'll do it for about four or five minutes and then there's, your bird is going to fly to a new environment, which I'm not going to tell you what it is. I brought artist oil pastels and I recommend them. You could do it with coloured pencils or even felt tips. But what I've found is for, for round two, you might want to add a white a light colour, and that, adding a light colour over a dark colour in, in, for example, coloured pencils isn't so easy. And if you haven't used them before, uh, are, they are like wax crayons, but a higher quality. And this is interesting because there is a study by um, Stevens et al. that shows that night jar they arrange themselves to precisely fit the background, which shows they must have self-awareness of their particular patterns. So the winner of round one is Phil's. Is it always going to be against this background? It's not. So coming up as a mystery background, you've got the option to stick or modify, but you don't know what you're modifying against. So you have to use your imagination. Right, let's see what mystery landscape we have. We have a forest and a clear winner for round two as well. Should we do one more round? Best out of three? Mm -hmm. Why not? So you can stick or modify. One thing that this game does need is everybody to start together so that the, the rounds work, so everybody is in sync. The winner is definitely uh, Absolutely. for this is Phil's. Well played. We've done three rounds. We could go on, but I think you get the idea. But you can see that the, the one that worked generally has now failed against, against its specialist habitat. And if we bring out maybe the summer breeding ground, both have something, that, you know, they're pretty good, um, but the, the greens in here are, are, are not working so well. So nightjar be ground nesters. They're specialists and this sort of, they're much more like this, aren't they? I think it's a really fun game. It makes you think about how animals have to adapt and they don't have the option of just popping to a named retailer to change their jacket. They've got to think about the different environments they're going to be in and decide, like Mark was saying, whether they're going to be specialists or generalists. And it's really nice to be hands-on. It's nice to have a game where you're doing something and creating something. I think it's a really good concept. Yeah, I very much enjoyed it. I was uh, grateful that I got lucky with the, uh, the habitats. Um, I wouldn't get that lucky again, I don't imagine. But yeah, very enjoyable. And so uh, I have to go home and open a packet of pastels. Well, that's the night jar game for you. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I think it's a game with wide adaptability to different, uh, different animals. And I really enjoyed it, I hope, and I think the people who took part did. And um, isn't it wonderful that night jar can bring people together?